It has been six months since my last episode or video at all here on the channel. And you know what? I feel like it's about time to get started here again. Welcome back everybody to another episode of Sebilda so Bigwood Germ, finally. It has literally been almost six months, maybe past six months by the time I get this episode done. And I've really been missing it. I've really been missing it the past few weeks. Uh, so I think it's finally time to start up here again. And uh, you know what? Let's just walk around here a little bit and take a look at everything we've done so far in this season. And I'll talk a little bit about where I've been and what's been going on for the past uh, six months. So first of all, here's our little starter house that we started out this season with, and I love this thing. This thing turned out really cool. I mean, it's really small, uh, pretty cramped, but I think it's sick. I love it. So where have I been? Well, there's a lot of things that have happened over the past few months. The main thing is I got a job. I got a job working for uh, Log.Zip, actually, his Minecraft Marketplace team. So we make custom games and uh, like skin packs and stuff like that and put them on the marketplace. Uh, I have been mainly doing texture work, but I've also been doing a little bit of building for another project that's not out yet. But my main role there is a texture artist. And I've been really, really enjoying it. I've been loving it. It's been a nice break. It's been nice to have a break from the uh, YouTube. Like I was trying so hard, pushing so hard to make this, uh, keep this full time. Um, but it just wasn't doing it for me anymore. I was not enjoying it. I got super burnt out. I was really forcing just about everything that I did. Like all of this, I think it's cool now. I think it's really cool, but I was really forcing it. Uh, I was, I, I really didn't spend a whole lot of time uh, like building this up and enjoying it. I was just really forcing it and really trying to make something epic every single episode. And it just wasn't working. I was getting super burnt out and I hit the breaking point. But man, isn't this stuff cool? I, I don't even feel like I built this, honestly. It, it's been so long since I've done anything here. This feels like I'm just walking around somebody else's world. <laughs> I have no memories building this stuff up. I guess because I wasn't enjoying it. I don't know. Probably the combination of not enjoying it and also just rushing it all. Um, again, I think it all looks really cool and it's some of my best stuff I've done. Uh, but it was very much rushed. Especially that dragon. I think I could have done a much better dragon. Uh, it looks a little goofy, uh, but it is still pretty cool, I think. But what else has happened since my last episode? Well, I went out to Chicago and then Michigan uh, with my friends Mr. Envelope, Rhino, and Ninny. We went out there to go to Ninny's wedding, uh, but unfortunately I didn't even make it to the wedding because I got COVID. <laughs> Somehow none of the other guys got COVID, but I did and I had to come home early. Uh, so I ha ended up having COVID for a couple of weeks after that, uh, a couple weeks into June. And that's when I applied for this job that I got. I was just sitting around, not really able to do a whole lot and just thinking a lot about uh, where I was at, what I was doing. And yeah, I just ended up deciding to, oh my God, there's so much stone. I need this. Ended up deciding to apply to some jobs and got the one I want, which I'm, which I was very happy with. But enough of that, enough of what's been going on with me. That doesn't matter. Nobody cares about that. You want to see me build. So today we are going to be leaving this area behind and also that other area that we started in the last episode. So say goodbye to the Nordic area and say goodbye to this little Hobbit area that we started up. I mean, it's not really any Hobbit, uh, Hobbit stuff yet. Uh, it's just this one medieval house. I think it turned out sick, by the way. I mean, this is a really cool house, but we're going to be leaving this behind as well because we are going to be heading out to the spawn area. We may return to this area at some point in the future. In fact, we probably will. Uh, I think there's a lot of potential for this type of area, this like Hobbit, uh, medieval, Hobbiton type area. I think we can do some really cool stuff out here, but I want to do some bigger scale stuff. Now I know I just got through saying that I got burnt out doing all this massive stuff every episode and just rushing through everything, but I'm going to be, I'm still going to be doing a lot of big stuff, maybe even bigger scale stuff than, than I've ever done before. Man, I'm saying, but a lot, I'm, I'm not in the, I'm not used to doing commentary. Okay. You'll have to forgive me for a while. So we're going to be heading out to the spawn area and we're going to be doing a city. We're going to be building up a city and it's going to take a long time. We're going to really take our time with this. Like I said, I really don't want to rush anything. I just want to make some really cool, really detailed builds. And this is the area we're going to be building in. 
And you can see I've done quite a bit of stuff out here already. Uh, I have been doing live streams here and there uh, from time to time, just doing a little bit of grindy work. Uh, and that's been, uh, that's kind of built up to this. So this is something that we'll be talking about in the next episode, probably. I mean, you could probably assume what it is already. It's going to be a bridge, um, but we'll talk more about that later on. Today, we're going to be focusing on this area over here. And you can see I've already cut out a big hole in the ground where it's going to be. But you know what? Actually, before we get into that, I'm probably going to have a lot of people asking where the texture pack is. Well, I decided that I would just prefer to play in vanilla for right now. Uh, that was another thing I got burnt out of is looking at my texture pack. <laughs> Um, I still enjoy making textures, which is why I'm a texture artist. I still do enjoy making the textures. It's just that I don't really want to play with them right now. Also, I mean, I make textures all day, every day for work. Uh, so uh, for the most part. So that's not really something I have too much interest in doing in my off time anymore. But I'm sure at some point in the future, I'll probably get back into it. So what is the plan out here? As I was saying earlier, we're going to be building up a medieval city. Uh, you can see I started building up, well, I did build up one house over here. This is probably going to be my house. I'm not really sure right now. It's not furnished on the inside at all, uh, but I think it's a pretty cool looking house. And I wanted to challenge myself to build something with all the new blocks. Uh, I guess besides like the deep dark blocks and the wet, uh, the wet mud, but we got the mangrove in here and the packed mud. And I think we have some mud bricks somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. So, of course, this is kind of the style we're going to be going with. Uh, this is going to be more the outs outskirts of the city. So it's going to be a little bit cleaner looking on the inside. Not as like covered in moss. But still, we're going to do this like Tudor style framing. Uh, the very peaked roofs for the most part. And lots of different colors for the houses. Uh, we're going to be doing that a lot within uh, throughout the city. But okay, today what we're going to be focusing on is we are going to be building a mud farm. As you can probably already tell from the title and thumbnail, we're going to be building a mud farm. It's going to be a pretty big building. Uh, the mud farm, the actual like functional part of it is going to be hidden underground here in this big box. But the rest of the build is going to be pretty big. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to have to gather up some materials. But then once I get done with that, we'll come back and get started on the build. All right, we are back and I have been doing a lot of grinding. I've got so many materials. This is all my redstone stuff. These are some of the blocks that we're going to be building with. These are some more of the blocks we're going to be building with. I have, oh, here's a bunch of blocks we're going to be building with. Here's some blocks we'll be building with. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. I've been doing a lot of stuff. It's been like probably a week since I recorded the last clip. Um, not because I've been using that entire time grinding. Uh, because I've been working and also, you know, sometimes you just don't feel like recording. Um, I'm really focusing in the future. Well, okay, before I get into that, we're going to do some building. We're going to do some redstone. I'm going to have to get rid of the beacon at some point. But I think for it right now, we're okay. We're going to be doing some redstone. Uh, I want to build an actual mud farm inside of this. Uh, so like the actual functional mechanics of a mud farm. It's going to be all in here. We're going to have some water down at the bottom, feeding it into there, which will lead it into a uh, elevator. Uh, but we'll focus on that later. Right now, we're going to make the actual mud um, machine, the thing you place your dirt into and it turns it into mud. And then we're going to make the section that makes it a big wall. Uh, it'll use some pistons, push it into a big wall, and then we're going to make a TNT duper that'll blow it all up. So while we're working on that, I am going to be talking a little bit about what I want to do uh, with this series going forward. I may have talked about this a little bit earlier, but uh, not a whole lot. I don't think I did a whole lot. Oh, I forgot the bucket or the bottles. I'll have to get those later, uh, but that's OK. All right. So let's get started on this and let's start talking a bit about where we're going with this series going forward. So I think the main thing I want to I really want to make sure of is that I'm actually uh, doing stuff that I want to do. Um, I mean, that sounds obvious, but before I was really focusing on just building uh, and like getting out huge builds every episode. And OK, this is not how I want this to do. Uh, uh, OK, 
Yeah, I was really focusing on getting like massive, really cool builds out every single episode. And uh, I wasn't really focusing on like the survival aspect of the game, other than just like grinding for resources, just so I can make sure I uh, make the next build for the next episode. <laughs> um, okay, can I sleep please? Thank you. And that really, really got old. I mean, I wasn't doing, um, I wasn't doing really any farms. Uh, which I kind of have been itching to do for a while. You know, I just wasn't really enjoying the game anymore. I wasn't enjoying it. I wasn't playing it in a way in that, that I enjoyed it. Like, building on my world and everything is fun. I do enjoy that aspect of it, but I want to have some survival aspects of it as well. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on going forward. Uh, I really want to build up, like, a working world. Um, like, I want to build up a bunch of massive, really cool builds, but I also want everything to work, you know? And I want everything to have a purpose. So in this area that we're starting here, I think I'm going to try for almost every build to have a purpose. Like an actual functional purpose. So this build is going to be a mud farm. Uh, it's going to look really nice. I think it's a really cool looking house. Uh, but... We're going to actually be able to get mud from this and maybe even maybe even something else as well. I haven't decided on that yet. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and build the rest of this on my own. I think that'd probably be the easiest because I'm going to have to be going up and down on scaffolding a lot. Uh, I'm going to be floating in the middle of the air a lot, but let's go ahead and test this out. I think, oh, this isn't going to work. This is just going to get sucked right into there, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Well, uh, anyways, um, so we're going to put the dirt here. There's going to be, aha, okay, I had to activate it first, that's right. Uh, so we're going to put the dirt there, obviously. That's going to be changed in on mud, and then it'll be pushed down like that, as mud. Um, but it's not, uh, it's not ready yet, okay. <laughs> All right, I have been working very hard on this. As you can see, I've gotten a lot of work done. Let's go ahead and take a look down here. Look at all these observers and droppers. Now I probably, well, I definitely could have just done a water elevator, uh, but this is cooler. I like this better. <laughs> Actually may end up just uh, switching this to a water elevator and saving all these observers for something else in the future. Um, but for now, this will work. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on and start using it. Um, I actually have used it quite a bit over here. Let me show you first, actually, before we start doing it. So you can see how much I have. I have a little over four stacks. Uh, let's actually go ahead and grab that dirt as well. And we're going to come over here, toggle this lever here, and you can see the uh, TNT duper will start working very slowly. Uh, you can see it is starting to blow up some parts of the wall, which I don't think should really be a problem. Um, I may just have to take out another layer on all the walls or at least this wall and this wall but besides that we can come over here right where this mud is and start placing dirt and it will automatically get turned into mud it'll get pushed down to here get pushed all the way over to here at some point and then i'll just keep pushing it down into this little layer down there and every once in a while for some reason i will get i guess i'm going a little too fast but i'll get a water bottle in my, in my inventory uh, so I'll just, okay, there it is again. So I'll just need to do that. Uh-huh. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's coming from here. Hmm. Um, can I make that a full block? I think I can. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do this there. Break that. We'll just do that and that. Let's see if that, okay, it did not fix it. <laughs> um, but all right, there is another stack. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Should have one more blow up there. And let's check this. Aha, yeah, another stack and a few more here. Nice, very, very nice. All right, we got our first farm here in this area done. And I'm very excited about that. I'm I'm really excited to actually have a mud farm. The next farm, well, not maybe not the next farm, but a, a future farm that I definitely want to get done uh, to help improve this farm actually is a dirt farm. And it shouldn't be too difficult, maybe. Um, maybe it will be, but <laughs> what I need to do to make that is I need to make a stone generator, feed that into an area that automatically makes moss, 
push the moss out of that area into a area that can generate azalea trees and then i'll change it into rooted dirt and then convert the rooted dirt into i think that can actually be just, just be converted straight into mud so that'll be a future project making a dirt farm uh, but we won't worry about that right now right now what we got to do is build this building so we're gonna have a floor right around i think this level we'll have the floor be here actually yeah it's the same level that that is over there so we'll have a floor here we'll have an outer staircase and like a little porch area uh going around right through here and then we'll come over right to about here there'll be a doorway uh we'll keep coming over and then we'll have a dock coming out this way and then we'll have some other machinery on the inside here to make it look like it's an actual factory uh, creating this this mud. Upstairs will be kind of like a little um, like barn type area, actually, which seems very strange. Um, it'll make a little more sense at the end. It'll still be really strange, though. Uh, and we're going to be putting pigs in there. Can anybody guess? Anybody guess what what the pigs are going to be doing? Leave a comment down below if you have a yes, but I'm going to go ahead and get to work. I need to gather up some pigs, actually, uh, and then we'll get to working on the build here. All right, it's coming along very slowly, slowly but surely. Uh, it's coming along. You can see where I was kind of laying stuff out earlier with the, the stairs thing I was talking about, with the porch that's going to go along the front of the building. Uh, then the dock out here, which I do need to add some more detail to at some point. Um, but for now, it's just going to be this, and we're not going to worry too much about it. <clears throat> but you come inside here. This will be the, the door for this uh, dock area. You come inside here, and we're going to have a big machine right here made out of mainly copper and a little bit of, uh, what are those called, blast furnaces, I think. I think we're going to have some of those in here. Uh, and then over here, we're going to have like a pile of barrels and uh, chests and stuff to kind of cover up all these hoppers so you can't see them. And this is all going to be like pillars and archways kind of acting as supports for the building. Uh, it's really going to look like a basement, I feel like, like an old medieval basement, which I think will be good. Now over here, I planned on doing a big furnace uh, to kind of cook the, the mud once it's done producing. But then I realized, I built this whole building and realized that's not how you make mud. That's not how you make packed mud. To make packed mud, you don't cook it. You have to combine it with wheat, which does make sense, kind of. But I feel like for Minecraft, they could have just, uh, just put it in the furnace. Uh, now I got to figure out a way to farm wheat uh, because I'm going to be using packed mud way more than I'm going to be using regular mud. And uh, I don't really want to just make a big field and farm it. I do want to make some big fields around here, but I don't want to have to harvest it. Those will be purely decoration. Uh, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. We're going to have a big empty furnace here that I'll have to figure out something to do with. Uh, maybe I'll just remove the chimney. I don't know. Uh, but that's going to be here. It's going to be made out of packed mud, actually. Uh, so that'll be pretty cool, along with mud bricks. Uh, this is all going to be covered up by a wall, a wall of a mix of cobbled deep slate and regular deep slate. So we won't have to worry about seeing any of this. And I think it should be, we, we probably need to light it up a little bit back here, actually, just to be safe. Uh, make sure a creeper doesn't blow it up at some point. Okay, that works. Oh, what was, oh, that grass block that I just broke. Aha, yes. Uh, let's just leave that in there for now. My inventory is packed enough already. Uh, but yeah, this is where we're at right now. So... Next thing I got to do, I think I'm going to build up the rest of the basement, detail it all out, uh, and we'll come back and talk a little bit about what's going on and a little bit about the plans for the upstairs. All right, we're back, and I went ahead and detailed out the basement, as you can see. I got all the walls up on the inside. We got all the machinery in here. Uh, you can see we got piles of mud just all over the place. This is where my mud is coming out from the uh, item elevator. You can kind of see one hopper right there, uh, but there's a lot, a lot more hoppers back here just feeding into all this stuff. Here's the furnace type thing I was talking about, and I didn't finish it because I really don't know what I'm going to do with this now. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I planned on actually cooking all the, the, uh, the stuff, the mud here, uh, but that's not how it works. You don't smelt it. Uh, you combine it with wheat, so uh, I don't know. I may finish this. I may just 
uh, do something different. I'm not too sure yet. But here's what the mud farm section looks like. The actual uh, generator, I guess you could call it. Uh, we just walk up here, place our dirt. Hopefully, we won't lose any water bottles. Because um, we saw earlier they were spitting them out like crazy. Hopefully, we don't run into that problem here. Uh, because if we do, we are not going to be able to access most of them, probably. They're probably going to get lost back there. Uh, so we may end up running out at some point. But we'll have to worry about that when we come to that point. So let's go over here. And we can see lots of dirt because it was broken earlier. Aha, there we go. We're getting some more mud in here. All right, good, good, good. Now, I went ahead. This is actually the next day that I'm recording this. Oh, here's the machinery, by the way. We got this big, like, tank thing. Uh, we got these pipes feeding down into it from what you'll see in a minute. Uh, we got some shelves over here with barrels. Uh, but I went ahead and I streamed building some of this um, on well, over on Twitch. Uh, but then I completely forgot that I had plans to record another clip after finishing this. And I went ahead and finished the entire thing. <laughs> I realized when I was on like the last layer of the roof, like whoops, I meant to record uh, <laughs> talking about all this, but that's okay. I think this episode's getting pretty long already anyways, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, we can go ahead and just do a little walkthrough and show around of the build that I ended up making. So obviously we went for this Tudor style using the uh, dark oak. The strip dark oak is the framing. Uh, and then some packed mud mixed with some, what is this, brown mushroom block and then some dripstone. And I think it makes a pretty good, uh, a pretty good, I guess, gradient. Not gradient, just a, a good texture. I really like this, these blocks all together. Then we come in here, we have the stairs to the downstairs area where we were just at. Uh, this is a little empty room with a chimney coming up through it. Again, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing in this room. Uh, maybe like some uh, living quarters for whoever's running this place. But then we come up in here and you can see we have some pigs. Um, and I'm going to let you guess. <laughs> I'm going to let you guess what these are for. I'm not going to say, oh, why are you in there? Oh, no. Okay, I guess you'll stay in there. I'm not going to give it completely away, but uh, I mean, the pigs, the pigs are powering the mud farm. Um, it may not this may not actually be mud this may it looks like mud but it may not actually be mud that we're building out of you can see we got all the composters in here and then that feeds down into the pipes uh and we got a little a little bit of an overflow uh going on out here but we won't worry about that right now that's future me's problem <laughs> Uh, but I think this house turned out pretty good or this build I think it turned out really good I'm very happy with it one thing I do need to add really quick that I completely forgot about yeah there we go that looks pretty good uh, honestly though I'm kind of considering going back to the uh, the style of having uh, stained glass as smoke so that way I can have it kind of like peter off this way a little bit like it's blowing in the wind I kind of think I want to do that instead I kind of think I'm over campfires, to be honest. So that's something I'm going to think about a little bit. Uh, I may end up changing that over at some point. But that is pretty much it for the build for today. Uh, I do want to talk a little bit about the plans for this area. Let me go ahead and craft some rockets really quick. Okay, let's just go over here, kind of in the middle-ish. You know what? We can just lean right here. This will give us a good, a good area to fly from. So I'm going to use my mod uh, that I have installed called FreeCam. And we can just hop out of the player and uh, spectate around a little bit. So I want to talk a little bit about the plans for this area. Uh, obviously, like I just said, I want to get a bridge going across right here, connecting this little landmass to this, uh, going over the river here. Uh, and then this is going to be one massive bridge that's going to have houses all over it. It's going to have towers all over it. It's going to be really cool. Uh, I think we're going to get started on that in the next episode, probably. We'll probably get like the base uh, bridge and towers uh, section done. And then the next episode after that, we could probably do all the houses or some of the houses. But then once we get across that, I want to do, I want this area to be a pretty dense, like packed city. And I really want to take my time on this. I know I was talking about how I don't want to do like massive projects anymore, but I think I should have clarified a little bit. I mainly meant, and maybe I did actually, but I mainly meant that I don't want to focus on like trying to get one massive thing done per episode. So massive builds, I still definitely want to do. 
uh, but I don't want to try to rush myself and uh, pressure myself to get like a massive thing done each episode. I think this build was pretty big, uh, but I think that's like the biggest I would go for an Well, the bridge is going to be pretty big, uh, but it's going to be very repetitive. Something like this that was, it's really big and it's also really detailed. Uh, this is going to be probably the biggest I go for like houses uh, for a single episode. But I'm thinking dense city throughout this whole area here, this whole plains, maybe even reaching off that way a little bit. Uh, we can have all kinds of stuff. We can have a wheat fields on the outskirts of the city. We can have, or crop fields, I should say. We can have parks throughout the city. We can have a, a, a big cathedral. I think that would be pretty sick to do. But at some point, I want to have a road leading up this way, all packed with houses all around, of course, leading all the way up to a castle. A massive castle up here, taking up pretty much like all of this space, all on top of this hill here. Now, I am going to move this house. I've decided I don't like this placement of the house either. I have, <laughs> I've moved this house twice already. It was over there once. Uh, then I moved it over here. I think I might go back over there or just in the city or, or maybe out here somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to have a massive castle taking up this whole area here. I think probably pretty inspired by the Red Keep in uh, Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon. We got a long way to go and we got a lot of stuff to do first. But I think that is going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Hopefully you guys are excited to see me back making content. I'm extremely excited to be back. I got so many ideas for stuff I want to do. And the 120 snapshot just just uh, just released. I'm really excited to get into or yesterday when I'm, when I'm recording this. I'm really excited to get into all those new blocks. Uh, I've got so many ideas. The bamboo, I think, is going to be really good for thatch. Thatch roofs for uh, medieval stuff. The hanging signs. Oh, I'm going to go so crazy with those. Uh, man, I can't wait. I cannot wait. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.